Hello Sharks, I am Jonathan Little for PokerNews.com, here today with a hand from High Stakes Duel 2, round 3, featuring none other than Phil Helmuth and Dale Negreanu. So far, these players have played two heads-up matches, a $50,000 buy-in match and a $100,000 buy-in match, and Phil Helmuth has won both of them. He also has 15 World Series of Poker bracelets. $24 million in live tournament earnings, and um, apparently a master of this heads-up format, given he is 5-0. and oh, He beat Antonio Sfondiori three times in a row, too, on high-stakes duel. His opponent, Dale Negreanu, six World Series of Poker bracelets, only six, which I had six, and he also has $42 million in live tournament earnings. He's been studying heads-up poker a lot. Let's see if that'll do him any good today, where Phil Helmuth very, very clearly has his no gamble, no future hat on. I want to preface this with, on the hand before this hand, maybe it was a hand or two before, Phil Helmuth limped ace-jack suited on the button, playing very deep stack, 150 big blinds, something like that. Down to Granu raised to four big blinds. And you know what Phil Helmuth did with the ace-jack suited? Casually took it, deposited it in the muck. I cannot believe it. I was laying in bed watching this show live on Poker Go. It was, um, I don't know, maybe 9 or 10 o'clock Eastern time. That's late for me. I have to put my kids to sleep. And then when they go to sleep, I go to sleep. But I was laying in bed watching this. And I, like, couldn't believe my eyes. I just started giggling. My wife's like, what's wrong with you over there? Like, Phil Helmuth just made the nittiest fold of my life of his, of, of, uh, that I've ever seen. Couldn't believe it. He just folded it. Limp folded it. Okay, sure. Then, a hand or two later... This happened. Dale Negreanu playing, I said 150 big blinds deep. They're actually 300 big blinds deep, 269 big blinds deep. Negreanu raises it up with pocket twos. Phil Helmuth, three bets with the, well, mystery hand. We'll give him a mystery hand, okay? Negreanu, I would have said calls. Seems like a spot to call to me. I don't know if I'm ever really four betting here. This may be one of these low frequency four bets. Dale Negreanu has been studying poker a ton. I'm sure he has some good solid GTO principles here, but to make sure that you are playing well before the flop and to make sure you're three betting enough and playing well against three bets, make sure you check out my three betting quiz. It's completely free. Check it out at pokercoaching.com slash three bet quiz. We'll put a link below. Um, so anyway, he three bets. And this is what you really do not want to happen. Phil Helmuth, then four bets. One, two, three, four. No, five, five bets. Not used to playing five bet pots. Negreanu raised. That's the second bet. I'm going to show you all how to count, count bets and no limit hold'em. Big blind is the first bet. Silly, I know. Negreanu raises. Second bet. Phil Helmuth re-raises. Third bet. Negreanu re-raises. Fourth bet. Phil Helmuth re-re-raises. The fifth bet. Over to Negreanu. I mean, now you have to call at this point. You have to put in 20 to try to win a pot that's going to go up to about 68 Plus, you can conceivably win another 127 when you make a set. Sometimes when you don't make a set, you still win. I guess you got a call. Annoying spot, right? If you knew Phil Helmuth just limp folded, ace-jack suited a hand or two before, uh, maybe you play this hand differently. Flop comes. Jack 10-6. Phil Helmuth now opts to check. Weird. 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 Who knows what's going on here? <sighs> Look, I'm not an expert at five bet heads up pot, so I'm not even going to pretend like I know what's going on in this scenario. I have to imagine that whenever he checks here, he's either going to have some just total garbage, not that he should have all that much in five bet pots, or he has a really good hand and he's just hoping to round two bets. He could also be checking a hand like ace, king, or ace, queen, just looking to check call. But I got to imagine this is going to be mostly very strong or very weak, and there really shouldn't be all that many very weak hands in this range. So I think Negreanu should probably just check it back. If Negreanu wants to make a small bet, though, I don't hate it. Betting small um, will make Helmuth fold out the total garbage some portion of the time. And then um, if he if you do bet small and get called ace-king, ace-queen will still just call usually and then check down and you win when he doesn't improve. So I, I don't hate a small bet, but I think checking is also just fine, especially on jack-10-6. It's just so easy for whatever Helmuth has to have some equity. Helmuth pretty immediately calls, turns at six of clubs, and Helmuth now leads for a third pot, leaving himself 64,000 behind. All right, well, what do we do? In this scenario, pocket twos in Daniel Negreanu's shoes. Do we fold? 
do we call or do we put them all in for the last only 64,000 chips? Remember, this pot's already 257 big blinds somehow. <laughs> but Negreanu has pocket twos. Not where you want to be, but here's where we are. What should he do in this scenario? Fold, call, or put him in? I want you to pause the video, think about this, and write what you would do in the comment section below. I'm going to go look at it, so make sure you do it. All right, this is a spot where I think you just have to fold. I mean, if, if Helmuth does have some sporadic bluff, you gotta presume it's gonna be a decently high equity bluff with a hand like ace-queen, king-queen, random backdoor clubs like ace-five of clubs. Like, I don't know, I'm just trying to come up with any reasonable hands he's actually gonna put the five bet in with. Again, who knows what he's gonna do given he just limp folded the ace-jack suited previously. But this is a spot where I think you just have to fold. At PokerCoaching.com, my training site, we actually have a lot of quizzes like this. Well, not like this, because this is a scenario you're almost never in. But for much more common scenarios that you are going to play on a very regular basis, we have a lot of quizzes. Make sure you go there and test your skills, because putting yourself in spots like this is almost like playing the hand to some extent. I know you don't have any money on the line, but looking at these spots and actively thinking and actively learning about how to play these scenarios is going to go a long way to helping you improve your poker skills. So to get in at a very big discount right now, grabbing a sale just for you. Check it out at pokercoaching.com slash independence for Independence Day. We'll put a link to that in the comments below or in the description below. Make sure you go and take advantage of that. What does Negreanu do? I don't know. I would have just folded. The problem here is that if you call and Helmuth puts the money in on the river, 64K, he could easily be bluffing in this scenario. Who knows? I don't know. Who knows what's going on? I literally have no clue what's going on in this hand. And then Negranu folds. And then he says, this hand has not been lucky for me. And you know what Phil Helmuth had? The eight three of clubs. Let's just go back and look at this hand from the beginning. Eight three of clubs, that has to be a mistake, right? Oh no, it's not. No, not a mistake, actually happened. Okay, Negranu raises, Helmuth three bets the eight three suited. Sure, no gamble, no future, right? Four bets, eh, no problem. Five bet. <laughs> Why not? Zoom, zoom, poker. Flop comes. I guess Helmuth is just check folding this flop, but then Negranu makes this really small bet and Helmuth decides to stick around with a plan. I guess I'm gonna lead any, any club. Maybe he's gonna lead any card. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Let me know what's going on. If you know what's going on, tell me in the comments. I'm curious. Maybe, just maybe, Bill Helmuth actually does have the best reads in the, in the entire world. I have never seen someone that limp ace jack suited heads up and then just fold it to a four big blind bet. And um, I haven't seen too many people put in the five bets with the eight three suited when they're against pocket twos and then run a pretty wild post flop bluff and it succeed. Not really the type of thing you see on a regular basis, but... Um, it's what Phil Helmuth does, and somehow, some way, he's right more often than not, so it seems. Maybe he's running hot? Maybe he's a wizard? I'm not sure. Love him or hate him, it's fun to watch. That's going to be it for today. Thanks to Poker News for hosting this video. If you want any, well, Poker News, go to PokerNews.com. That's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed this video, do me a little favor. Click the like and subscribe buttons below. Also, click the notification bell so that you are aware of all the free content I put out for you at youtube.com slash poker coaching. Good luck in your games. Have a great, great week, and I will talk to you next time. Yeah, I'm talking to you.